Hi everyone, welcome back to An Empty Castle, a pewter. Uh, so part 3 and part 4 are out now, so that's what we're playing. And here we are again in this room. Oh, there's another cool effect I haven't seen before, that's nice. You don't see many games do this. You can tell that the person who makes these games is uh, having a lot of fun with their shaders or whatever that is. Because that is cool. And here is some blue stuff. Ooh, it's like a magic eye picture almost. This is a very interesting skybox. I know I've said that quite a few times in this series, but... That's just a cool picture, and the way it's like really big and like in your face, even though it's the sky. That's neat. So out here, it looks like ooh, a considerable amount of changes. So part one and part two are pretty uh, connected. Like uh, all that happened at the end of part one and the beginning of part two was like the, op the gate opened at the end of the graveyard, but looks like we have a lot more to explore this time, and that is a weird perspective thing. There's like five different disorienting effects going on at once right here, it's quite cool. Like the textures on this thing like slide around on that upside down triangle it like... I don't understand anything about what I'm looking at. But let's get in there, we've got some places to explore. Uh, here's the roof, we've got that weird skybox there as well. Alright. Whoa, what the heck? That is really weird. It's like the order things are being drawn by the graphics is wrong. So it looks like uh, the gravestones are on top of the stairs. That is crazy to look at. How freaking unusual is that? Okay, let's go. This weird flight of stairs. Oh man, that is weird. <laughs> I can't. It's really hard to judge the perspective when it's doing that. All right, here we are. There's lots of like pillars going into this. So maybe this is the floating castle. I don't know. It's probably all part of the same building. There's the graveyard and stuff. Look, it's tiny. But then, oh, it was just far away. Can you fall off? No. Wow. This is really neat. I was a little, I don't know, underwhelmed by part one and two, but uh, I think that episodic structure is kind of paying off now because instead of the whole game being over in 30 minutes, it kind of like, I was thinking about it for a couple days and then I got to come back to it. And now there's this weird stuff. So, I'll go in between those pillars at the entrance. I just wanted to take a look around the exterior first. And what is going on here? Something down there that I can't reach. Ooh. Oh, I just realized it's that horse or deer thing. Yeah, but it's very large and the textures are sort of shifting around. Neat. Can't wait till part four. How can this get even weirder? Uh, so, there's a glowy entrance here, and there's also another staircase. Let's go up here first. I don't want to accidentally trigger the end of the game, though. Hmm. So there's like a some platforms going up there. Let's go in the glowy door actually first. There's another corridor. Okay, this is nice. I like how there's an opportunity to, like, get lost properly now. Uh, where's that door? It was down here, wasn't it? Oh, we can see the bottom of this weird pyramid now. Or cone, whatever shape it is. That's the dead end, I think. It's getting a lot of mileage out of this uh, skull texture. Quite cool. Ah, oh, let's go up. It's the top of the thing now. Did I go in that corridor? 
I don't know if I have yet, sorry. Oh wait, I did. But I didn't go to the left. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay. It's a little bit of a shame that the camera is so slow to move around, because it's a tiny bit more annoying to look at things than it has to be. Like, uh... It might be kind of trying to do an LST Dream Emulator thing, but it's just a tiny bit too slow. Oh, I fell off. So I'd be able to, like, take in the scenery a little better if I could, uh... If it was easier to look around. Let's go back up those slopes. Yes. Try not to fall off this time. Yep, that's this thing alright. Slowly turn around. Okay. Hmm. We're all the way up here now. Ooh, there it is again. Uh, can I go down here? Hmm. I don't really want to try. I'm tempted by this platform here because it looks like there's a kind of a hollow bit there. I guess I could always employ some video editing, so if I mess this up or if there's nothing over there then I'll just jump cut to when I'm back at that statue again. Oh no, I did mess it up! Ah, uh, no I didn't, I meant to do that. Oh, it's a dead end. Thought so, well we can try here now. That's a dead end as well. As far as I know. Yeah. Alright, let's go to the top again. Alright, here we are. Ooh, the colors changed. Yay! Ah! Wow! What's happening? It's like squishing or something? I'm getting like... Whoa, it's all folding in or something. Oh wait, no, it's going backwards now. Sorry, I'm getting overexcited by this. So... Now this castle is stretching outwards, I think. We can see that's getting flatter. There's these meatballs again. Ooh! Is this skybox from before? But different colors? But now it's all... There's two different skyboxes on top of each other. So... Can I still move around? I'm not sure if... Yeah, I'm still moving. I think it's hard to tell what I'm standing on. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I've fallen down. So I think the collision of the level stays the same, but the graphics are stretching, so that makes it quite hard to tell where you are exactly. So I'm walking into a wall now, but I don't... Maybe it's that wall at the end of the corridor. That would make some kind of sense. Looks like I'm off the edge now. Maybe I am. I've got no idea, to be honest. Well... Hey, I kind of expected the game would be over by now. It looks like uh, we're not done yet. Anyway, this game clearly has a lot of bugs. They should fix this because the graphics are doing all kinds of weird stuff. It doesn't look intentional at all. How unprofessional. Oh, what's this? Don't know why I said watch this, like it's going to be something identifiable. Uh, there's some kind of weird shape, I don't know if I'm getting close to it or not. Maybe I'm moving. Yeah, I must be, but... I think that thing is pretty far away, whatever it is. No clue, I don't think there's any way to find out. Oh, to be honest guys, I have no idea where I am or what's going on anymore. <laughs> I thought I was on top of things for a minute, but, uh... Okay, so it's going completely flat, and now this thing is on this side. So is that where it was originally, or is this mirror now? Let's see if we can figure out um, if I can walk into walls or not. I'm trying to walk towards that structure. I know it looks like I'm not moving, but that's because uh, the level is stretching at the same time. So now it's mirrored itself again. So maybe I can go up this staircase. Yes, I think I'm moving towards it. 
Well, I tried. That's some nice dead fighting there. Shucks. What's going on anymore? I can't tell if I'm bumping into walls or not, it's kind of hard to see if you're moving. So the level is moving. Is it stretching in both directions or just... Hmm. I'm a little stumped. I didn't know this game would be such a head scratcher. Maybe I'll need to read a walkthrough. I mean, I'm enjoying this, but I just kind of assumed there was going to be an ending because parts 1 and 2 had endings. Well, I mean, the game closed itself. That's a pretty definitive ending, I think. I don't know if this game is going to do that. Maybe I can make my way back. So the original building isn't moving, so I can kind of use that to tell where I am. Um, I'm just not sure if I'm bumping into walls or stuff, or whatever. Okay, so I'm moving towards it. Let's hope we're on the bridge back here. Oh yes, okay. We're doing it. It took me a while, but I think I've solved it. We can take a look at it from the uh, from distance now. Nice. That's not what video games are meant to look like. Come on guys, it's the year 2020. We need better graphics. We need good graphics. Oh! Spooky. Do I want to go up to them? I kind of want to avoid them for as long as possible. Okay, let's go up to that weird figure. Hello. Are you stuck here as well? Oh! Oh my god, their eyes! Look at their eyes. Oh, that's so horrible. Are you okay? Looks like they're shaking their head, saying no. No, I'm not. Hmm. Well. Buddy, I hope they find the cure for whatever is wrong with you. All the best, pal. Okay, bye. Well, if that wasn't the ending, I don't know what is. I'm not giving up though. This video might be a little longer than the first one it turns out because the game hasn't released me yet. I think the blue texture on the skybox is the same as the blue texture on that person's arms and legs. Oh! Uh oh. I don't like the, them turning out the lights all of a sudden. I prefer they didn't. Are they still there? Where'd they go? Hello, friend? Oh, I think I see... There's lots of them now. Oh, Christ! Ah! Okay, it hasn't kicked me out of the game, that's good. Maybe they're all mourning. I don't know, no one's at these graves. Those ones are jam-packed, though. Well, this bit is, is staying still now. Oh! Ah! Uh, oh! Ow! Ah! Uh, <laughs> they're on my face! Get it off! Okay. Well, I think that's the end of part three. Holy shit! Okay, that was a big step up from part two, I think. I was not expecting anything like that. I just want to go straight to part four. Let's do it. All right. So that's a nice screen to start us off. Fella underground. Wait. I'm the fella? Oh, it's a different camera angle. That's cool. Yeah, I can jump, I think. That is a very slow jump. So, yeah, I can turn, I can move just like usual. Turning is very slow, as you might be able to expect. Uh, so I think we're in the entrance room. At least the camera is, so I'm going to walk down here, see if I can get to the room with the crazy windows. Let's take a good look at this person first. This is our player character, I think. They're wobbling 
they're shifting and shaking and I don't know how to describe whatever it is that's happening to them. And the game's in black and white. Right. Skybox is looking a bit more stationary because I don't have much control over the camera. Oh wait! When I use the up and down buttons, I know the camera doesn't move, but the skybox does. And that is weird. Ah, we're gonna crash. Okay. It's kind of how I move, like in real life. I just kind of drift around like that. Whoa! It's bumping into the camera a tiny bit. Let's see if we can find a nice grave to stand in front of. Oh, I want to see that camera again. Hold on. Heh. <laughs> There's like a special camera angle just for this, but let's do a spin. Great spin. Let's move on. Staircase is still here. Let's check out the graves first. Oh. Those are some graves. Here's that staircase. Let's uh, just do some platform and get up there extra quick. Quick time save. I didn't do it right. Yeah, the jump is very floaty. It's also kind of tricky. You got to use WASD to move relative to the way the cam the character is facing. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> uh, I want to go back and to the right. Have we gone too far? Where's the staircase? So there's the staircase. Oh, I'm in this corner, sorry. Got a bit discombobulated. Okay, there's, there's the foot of the stairs, so let's go. Uh, just gotta circle around, go back, and then get the camera behind me. Perfect, okay. Ooh, <laughs> that looks spooky. Oh my god, this is just like the end of the part three where the character comes towards the screen, but now I'm the character. Uh, so we're up here now, almost. Kind of funny, 3D platformers, especially retro ones like this one, is kind of trying to emulate. They always have pretty wonky cameras, but I think this one is trying to make it like a point of the game or something. <laughs> like it's uh, an obstacle you've got to overcome. It's like a puzzle game. You got to figure out what the fuck is going on. What is this? All these different camera angles are really cool. Like seeing the same level from different places, but at the same time, I don't really know where I am at sometimes. Okay, here we are. This is like cinematic and stuff, I love this. I'm kind of drifting because the character isn't facing completely forwards. So there we go. Okay. So I'm going in here now. Hopefully I don't have to navigate all those high art platforms with this camera system. Ooh, it's still creepy when it comes towards the camera like that. Oh, they're falling, oh no. I'm going to get the bad ending. Ooh. Hope they're okay down there. Oh, it's the weird s sprites. The meteors or whatever. Hmm. I got the secret disco ending, it looks like. Now what's going on? It's just one thing after another with this game. Oh! Okay. I can't move or anything, so I think the camera's doing something special. There's that place we were at just previously. Oh! Oh, I thought for a second there was like two hands going over the top of the graveyard. It was just uh, giant, like, floating meteor things. Oh no, what's happening to the quality of this video? It's getting even worse. Ah. Ooh. Those are some neat shaders. And I think that's the end of part four. And maybe the end of this game as well. That was really neat.
I was a little underwhelmed by the first part, but I'm glad. I think it paid off in the end, and the episodic structure was very cool. Maybe it's something I'll copy at some point, because uh, it made the game have a bigger impact on me, and it was a lot of fun as well. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Okay, bye.